So, what is the problem? Imagine you are the founder of the school startup that just got funding, and you were yourself the creator of the baby. You developed every single line of code, and then you get your first developer, and the second, and the third, and maybe you have managed people before, or maybe not. But managing people is a completely different story. And suddenly you get 50 new developers, and you have to think about product, and organization, and agile, and many other things that no one told you about. So do you want to make mistakes along the way or have a framework to help you get quick into this leadership position? What is a chief technical officer? What is a VP of engineering? The definition is going to be different for each person and each company you ask. I started my career as an engineer. I was a software developer. And at some point, I became a manager. And it was terrible because I didn't have anywhere to learn. I had blogs, I had videos, I had friends, but I had nowhere to go to teach me what it meant to be a manager. Then I became a director of engineering, and then I became eventually a CTO of a small startup, and then a bigger startup, and then my team grew. And it took me quite some time to understand that it was not just the next step on my engineering career ladder, and my engineering path. It was a completely different path that required a different set of skills. It was not anymore about the code. It was about the people's minds and people's hearts. So what do you do? You could go to a business school and study an MBA with marketing people and finance people and CEOs, but you're not gonna understand the nuances of technology. You could also hit the wall many times and learn by doing and by making mistakes. But how do you streamline that process and become the CTO that your CEO and your board want. My name is Sergio Gago, and I've been taking CTO roles and positions for over two decades. In small startups, where I had teams of three or four developers, and bigger corporates, where I had 300 and 350 engineers distributed across the world. And guess what? I wish there was a program tailor-made for CTOs and technical leaders in general to train me on the needs from companies, from a product perspective and a management perspective. In my time, there was no such a thing. And that is why, as a program director of this uh, master's, I wanted to create the perfect experience so you, as a technical person, can become a manager person as well. We always say that we need more developers and more software engineers, and that is true. But who's going to lead all those people? Who is going to take the, the reins of this boat and lead all these super good software developers. That is what the society needs. Chief technical officers, technical leaders, who understands the business side of things, who can speak both languages, who can stay in both rooms, doing paid programming with developers, but also be in a boardroom with your investors, talking about the financials of your team. Being able to change those hats, it's a skill that's really needed and that we are here to teach you about.